creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing. Alleluia, alleluia. Opening sun with golden beam, on silver moon with softer Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Good afternoon. It's a joy to be with you on this second Sunday of Easter called Mercy Sunday to celebrate these saving mysteries. Let us call to mind God's mercy which endures from generation to generation and pray for the forgiveness of our sins. Lord of peace, your mercy raises from the darkness, distress, doubt, and despair. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, our merciful Savior, you are the light of the nations, and in your mercy there is no darkness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Liberating Lord, your risen mercy unlocks the doors of our frightened hearts and frees us from our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us give glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in every reoccurrence of the Paschal Feast kindles the faith of the people you have made your own, Increase, we pray, 
the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what fount they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles and to the communal life, to the breaking of bread and to the prayers. Awe came upon everyone, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their property and possessions and divide them among all according to each one's need. Every day they devoted themselves to meeting together in the temple area and to breaking bread in their homes. They ate their meals with exultation and sincerity of heart, praising God and enjoying favor with all the people. And every day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. the Lord and forget not God's benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. God pardons all your iniquities and sorrows, redeems your life from destruction, and crowns you with kindness. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy gave us a new birth to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by the power of God are safeguarded through faith to a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the final time. In this you rejoice, although now for a little while you may have to suffer through various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith 
more precious than gold that is perishable, even though tested by fire, may prove to be for praise, glory, and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Although you have not seen him, you love him. Even though you do not see him now, yet believe in him, you rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy as you attain the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiving them and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book, but these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, 
and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Good afternoon once again. Today, as we come to continue the joy of Easter, we continue to also celebrate its great hope, especially as we experience in our world today great anxiety. Our gospel from the 20th chapter of John's Gospel today tells us about the anxiety of the apostles. We're told that it is at night, it was evening. It's very interesting, it's dark time, because at the beginning of the 20th chapter of John's Gospel, we see Mary Magdalene going to the tomb at dawn before the sun rises. It's darkness. And now Jesus, that same evening, that same day, he appears in the evening when it's dark. The doors are locked. In other words, there is a lockdown. <laughs> there is a safe, stay safe uh, inside for the apostles. And Jesus comes into the experience of that darkness and also of that lockdown, that great fear and trepidation. And he says, Shalom, peace be with you. He will say in our gospel today three times, Peace be with you. Shalom, which is the cosmic reconstruction of a relationship between God and God's people. Whenever we hear the word peace be with you, it celebrates that God has restored our relationship that we have broken with him. And there is no more fear and no more alienation. There is healing. As we see in the gospel, he breathes on them, the Holy Spirit, which is a sign of there will be a new creation. It's a new beginning. And that's what we pray for as we experience our fears, our, our dark days, our lockdowns in this pandemic period. We pray that there will be a new beginning when we will not be afraid, when we will not be separated and distanced from one another when we be filled with abundance of life. And so that breath of the Spirit comes upon us. And Jesus makes this all possible by entering into our wounds, our human condition. He shows them his wounds because he comes and immerses himself in our wounds. And he comes and shows them those wounds which now have been sanctified. That he is the risen Lord. And through his wounds, we are healed. And with our darkness, 
our despondency, our despair, our fears. Jesus says in that eternal moment of salvation history of his wounds being opened to receive our wounds, he says, come, come, you who doubt, come. Put your fingers into my wounds of my hands and take your life and your hand and put it into the wound of my heart and know that I am your savior, risen from the dead, crucified but risen from the dead, and that there is that restoration, that cosmic renewal, these new beginnings of new life that is promised to us through the resurrection. May God bless you always and in all ways. Let us profess our faith. Let us continue our prayer to the Lord. For Christ's gift of Easter hope for our universal church, all Christians and God's people. For the peace of our world and the wisdom of all who hold public office, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For victims of the coronavirus, scientists, researchers, first responders, healthcare professionals, the elderly, hospitalized, those in nursing care, and for all who participate in this Divine Mercy Sunday Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, victims of abuse, unemployed, 
the marginalized, refugees, and displaced people of our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the dying, our beloved dead, the comfort of all who grieve, and for our silent intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of mercies, we ask all these things in the name of your crucified and risen Son, Jesus, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, my sisters and my brothers in baptism, that the offerings we bring to this holy altar might become the sacrifice which is acceptable to God, our Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblation of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, we may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to Lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Oh, no, no, no. 
You are indeed holy, and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race, and who always walks with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that, by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant that we may be always conformed to the image of your Son, and confirm us in the bond of communion with Francis our Pope, Curtis, our bishop, and your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote ourselves to the service of the gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their griefs and pains, their joys and hopes, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died, whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. 
there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, her all good and holy husband Joseph, the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, the martyrs, especially Stephen, Saint Anthony, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of our world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join me in a prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are fully present, body, blood, soul, and divinity in the most holy Eucharist. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment physically receive you sacramentally, Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
death today was triumphing. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And through the prayers of the Holy Mother of God, together with all the saints, especially our patron, Saint Anthony, may the Lord bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, alleluia, alleluia. Strife is all.